Uh, let's go into this, some of the Sami Zayn stuff, because uh, on SmackDown, they did a great piece of business at the end. Uh, and, and this is the story, right? How are they going to get to Cody? How do they get there? The, it's going to be difficult. You created this mega baby face in Sami Zayn by accident on WWE's behalf, pure talent on Sami's behalf. A three-week program has turned into a huge, huge thing. But how do you move here? So at the end of SmackDown, Roman came out and he's cutting a promo and he's saying how he would much rather spend his time talking about a deserving opponent like Cody that won the Rumble. And, you know, the booze came. I'm like, eh, I don't know if that was the best thing to say at the end. Sammy came out, ambushed him, chased him, challenged him. Sammy gets jumped by the bloodline. Roman off mic, which I'm loving this off mic stuff that they're doing. If you've noticed, the mic's getting distorted now, and that is by design because they want you to feel that this is not supposed to happen. It's one of those it's not supposed to happen with the distortion in the in the audio. Nice little piece. I I I, I like that. And Roman is, you know, is telling him that he's going to embarrass him in front of everybody in Montreal, in front of his family and friends and his fans. Great. Awesome. But how are you going to get... I mean, listen, I think people want to see Sammy and Roman at this point, And the expectation is that Sammy's not going to win it. But how do you, how do you pivot to Cody now? It's going to be a challenge. And is Cody going to be able to do it with his, you know, baby, super baby face promos that he's cutting about his family and the chance? And he, he's so grateful to be here, you know, in front of the wrong audience, they're going to turn on him heavily. Hasn't happened yet, but they got to be careful here. And it's going to be no fault of Cody's, to be honest. It's going to be really, it's going to be what, what the audience wants. And the audience really wants Sammy. Should it be the WrestleMania match? No, it should not be the WrestleMania match. But you're going to have to pivot. So it's going to, I I mean, I, I would say, I lost my screen here. There we go. I lost my screen and I don't know where I am. There we go. <laughs> I would say that uh, you're going to do, you know, three on threes, obviously, with Cody and Sammy and Kevin against the bloodline. That's going to get us through a month of stuff. So you... So you make it okay. Hey, look, guys, they're friends. Sammy wants him to beat him for the title. Sammy will come out and do a rah-rah to Cody. Do it. You know, I couldn't do it, but you're going to be able to do it. You're going to be able to take him down. And, you know, maybe that'll work. But WrestleMania is also very unpredictable with that crowd. MG, you think you think Cody is going to get booed at all? Um. Well, it depends on how they do it. Now, for me, I think what you do is... um. You got to get the heat back on the Usos. I know Brian Alvarez talked about this a couple weeks ago on uh, on this show, uh, where you somehow I think the Jay Uso stuff leads to him ultimately betraying Sammy and siding with his family, and we get it, it has Sammy, to yeah uh, KO yeah you have to get the heat back on the Usos in order to let Cody shine, and yeah. then but I don't know I guess. I, I, a, a huge heat spot in Sammy's hometown after the match. <laughs> I guess. That yeah. And it, you know right? what happens? And then Cody comes out and saves, saves, you know, Kevin. And, you know, I mean, you, uh, you could do that. You could have, you know, the bloodline, Sammy, Sammy's, you know, Sammy loses. Kevin comes out to save him. Jay pops out of nowhere, cuts off, you know, they, they, they handcuff both of them, a total beat down. And here comes Cody to save the day. Roman and him go face to face. They do a thing, and then now all of a sudden, Cody's you know Cody's okay. Now we're yeah. off to the races, and you're off mm -hmm. to the races. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I mean you could do that. I expect them to do that. Mm -hmm. I can't see them not doing that. But uh, you're gonna have a very challenging story for Cody, and this is gonna be a nice test if they could get themselves out of this because the bloodline stuff really has been the biggest story that they've done in years. Uh, I I can't think of a. Uh, I can't think of a, a top story other than the Daniel Bryan stuff, but that was still, again, it wasn't by design. That happened organically. When is the last time the WWE put together a story and guided you where they want you to be 
that worked. I, I, I don't know. Maybe the shield. CM Punk, you know? But again, that was another happenstance for them. Uh, this is a this has been a very interesting program because it's it, one of the few times that they've told the audience, "Hey, this is what we're doing. This is who we're doing it with," and everybody's like, "Yeah, I'm cool with this. I like this. I want to see more." The biggest complaint right now is people don't want the bloodline to fall apart because it's so good. That's rare. Normally, WWE just they have something that's hot and they they they. They break it down to the floor. I mean, they 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 bury the entire thing because they do it so much. But Roman's very well protected. So very cool stuff here.